हेलो फ्रेंड्स यर वी हैव अ प्रॉब्लम विच इज बेस्ड ऑन क्लोज साइकिल आई रीड द क्वेश्चन एंड राइट द डेटा सो यर इट इज गिवेन ए सिलेंडर कंटेन्स जीरो पॉइंट फोर फाइव मीटर क्यूब ऑफ गैस एट वन इंटू टेन रेस टू फाइव न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वेर एंड एटी डिग्री सेल्सियस सो यर आई राइट द डेटा फॉर दिस इट इज गिवेन दैट A cylinder contains 0.45 meter cube of gas, so the volume is given at 1 into 10 raised to 5 pressure. So P1 and 80 degree Celsius. So the temperature T1 is 80 degree Celsius, which I'll convert it into Kelvin, and it becomes 353 Kelvin. Next, the gas is compressed to a volume of 0.13 meter cube. So the process is compression, and after compression, the volume re reduces. At first, it was 0.45. Now it is 0.13. So V2, that is after compression, it has become 0.13 meter cube. and the final pressure that is p2 pressure has increased after compression as we can see here initially the pressure was at 1 into 10 raised to 5 newton per meter square now it is 5 into 10 raised to 5 newton per meter square determine the mass of gas so we have to find out the value of m and secondly we have to find the value of n for compression this n is nothing but it is polytropic index so the compression which they have given here it is polytropic compression now with the data available to us let us try to get the solution to this problem now in the solution part i'll say that first we have to find the mass of gas and initial pressure volume and temperature are given so i'll use the characteristic gas equation that since the characteristic gas equation is given by this equation is used to find the mass of unknown air or gas it is p1 v1 is equal to mr t1 so therefore mass m will be equal to p1 v1 upon r t1 now therefore mass will be here the value of p1 i'll put it 1 into 10 raised to 5 newton per meter square volume v1 is 0.45 meter cube r value standard value we can assume it that is 287 joule per kg kelvin for air and t1 is 353 kelvin so i'll write down assuming r which is the characteristic gas constant as 287 joule per kg kelvin this is for air so therefore the answer of mass it comes out to be it is 0.433 kg that's the first answer answer one next after reaching here they have said that also to calculate the value of polytropic index which is n so here i'll say that since for the process 1 to 2 we can write the relation as p1 v1 raised to n is equal to p2 v2 raised to n that is since it is polytropic compression process so therefore here if we see we have the values of p2 as well as the value of p1 so i'll write the relation in this way that v1 upon v2 they will be common raised to power n is equal to here we have p2 divided by p1 so therefore now v2 value and v1 both are given 
V1 is 0.45 and V2 is 0.13 and V2 is 0.13 raised to power n is equal to P2 is 5 into 10 raised to 5 P1 1 into 10 raised to 5 so therefore from this I'll get it in this way this answer is 3.46 raised to the power n and this is equal to 5 uh, 10 raised to 5 10 raised to 5 will get cancelled out now here I want the value of n so I'll say that therefore taking log on both sides that is log to the base e so we have n will be multiplied here and log to the base e of 3.46 is equal to log to the base e of 5 and then I'll get this n is equal to log to the base e for 5 divided by log to the base e 3.46 and from this I'll get the answer of n which will be 1.296 and this is the second answer so at first we have calculated the mass which was 0.433 kg answer number one and secondly we have calculated the value of polytropic index n that is 1.296 and both these questions were asked with this we complete the problem